My name is Craig Schultz. I'm the uh, Greenhouse and Gardener 2, and I started in uh, August of uh, 2014, so I've been here almost a year. There's, there's really three greenhouses here. Uh, the main part of the greenhouse is the collection of different uh, families of plants, different genuses and different species of plants. The greenhouse, it's usually made out of something that's uh, like glass or plastic, something that will allow light through for growing plants. Second thing is you need some type of source of heat, depending on where you're at, and a source of cooling. And then of course you're gonna need a water source so you can irrigate the plants. So to make the plant healthy, you're gonna need something to put the plant in, like a pot. You're gonna need soil or some type of media. You're gonna need fertilizer. You're gonna need some way of watering the plant, so either with a, some type of automated irrigation system or by hand. You're gonna need tools for cutting things back, for controlling pests or diseases. So you're gonna need some type of chemical or a biological control method or you can just pick them off by hand, which can be done depending on the size of the insect. If you're gonna try and grow something in Mars in a space capsule or on the actual surface of Mars, one thing is you gotta build some type of structure to protect the plant material. One of the things that the plants are gonna to need to survive is carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So you're gonna to have to be breathing on the plants, taking that air from the capsule into the greenhouse for the plants to use the CO2 and then in return produce sugars for itself and oxygen for the astronaut. So it would be a beneficial circle there. So you would have to build it close to the capsule for source of CO2, uh, protected from wind, be able to provide some type of heating or cooling system so it doesn't get too hot or too cold, and then water for uh, keeping it alive. And then the other thing is a, a source of light. If, if you're on the part of Mars where it's dark, do you have enough energy inside the capsule or whatever to supply enough light to keep the plant growing? He's using his own waste as a, as, as a, a source of uh, organic material that's going to supply nutrients to the plant. That being mixed with the Martian soil and some of the earth soil that he brought along, which hopefully uh, some type of bacteria might be in there that'd be beneficial to plant growth and some nutrients also in mineral, if it's a mineral soil. So if he, if he did that and he'd have to find some type of container to keep it all in and then uh, if he was going to let it, if he was going to let the water drain out, how is he going to collect it and then what's he going to do with it? What he could do is something that's called hydroponic or nutrient film technique where you have an enclosed system where you pass water past the roots and it's recycled continuously so there's no waste. There you still have to monitor uh, uh, nutrient uptake and he's doing potatoes so it would be a potato wedge in there and you would see different eyes shooting out shoots coming up. Potatoes would be kind of hard because you're not you're not really eating the top part of the plant you're eating the, the, the tuber the, the modified root so that you'd have to uh, sort of modify your, your growing system you're gonna have to rip apart that soil structure and harvest the potato and then take that potato wedge cut it up have some for food and then use another potato wedge to start another plant or plants. With a potato you can just look for a little indentation, it's called an eye, and then that's usually where a new shoot will come up. And then you would have to have some type of variety. Uh, if you're going to be there for a long time, nobody will want to eat potatoes for 10, 20 years all the time. Bring plants up there that you can uh, either divide like potatoes or uh, harvest seed from the fruit so you always have something to plant. Since you only had potatoes, that's a good source of starch. That would work for a, a period of time to stay alive. 